Imagine a world where the future of elections isn't decided by voters, but by artificial intelligence. Sounds far-fetched? Let's delve into reality. A recent report from Microsoft has blown the lid off a brewing issue. China's utilization of AI-generated media to influence elections, a strategy not confined to East Asia but reaching as far as the US shores. Picture this. AI-generated memes, videos and audios all meticulously crafted by Chinese propaganda actors. Their aim? To generate outrage, to sway elections, to steer the course of democracy. Take for instance the 2023 fires in Hawaii. AI was used to propagate the theory of a US-made weather weapon being the cause. Or consider the aftermath of a train derailment in Kentucky, where disinformation spread like wildfire sowing seeds of mistrust. But it's not just about sowing chaos. These AI tools are also being used to gather intelligence on key voting demographics in the US. As we peel back the layers of this AI interference one thing is clear, this isn't just about winning votes, it's about winning minds. The tools of election disruption have evolved, but how exactly is AI being used to sow discord? The crux of the matter lies in the creation and propagation of disinformation, a task that AI has proved to be disturbingly adept at. Consider this. AI is being harnessed to create false narratives and generate outrage over specific events. This is not a nebulous, abstract concept but a concrete reality, with instances of AI-generated content being used to churn up chaos in the United States and beyond. Take for example the apocalyptic fires of 2023 in Hawaii. The flames had barely been extinguished when AI was deployed to fan the embers of discord, blaming the disaster on a US-made weather weapon. This baseless accusation, stoked by the relentless machinery of AI, sparked outrage and sowed seeds of mistrust among the populace. Or let's revisit the train derailment in Kentucky. In the aftermath of the tragedy, AI was once again the tool of choice to spread mistrust, weaving a web of conspiracy theories and casting shadows of doubt where there were none. These instances are not isolated. They are part of a larger, more insidious pattern of AI being weaponized to disrupt and manipulate. AI-generated memes, videos and audio are churned out in a relentless stream designed to influence, to sway, to divide. This is not the future, this is the here and now. The AI revolution is here and it's being wielded as a weapon of mass disruption. While the immediate threat might be low, the long-term implications of China's AI efforts could be monumental. The future of elections is at a critical juncture, and artificial intelligence is set to play a bigger role than ever. Microsoft's recent report has sounded an alarm warning of the potential impact of AI-generated disinformation on the democratic process. China's use of AI to influence elections isn't an isolated incident. The report draws parallels with Russia's tactics in the 2016 US presidential election. Much like how Russia used social media to disseminate politically divisive content, China is employing AI-generated media to sway public opinion. The goal? To undermine trust, stir up controversy, and ultimately, influence the outcome of elections. But it's not just about creating chaos. These accounts are also gathering intelligence on key voting demographics in the US. By understanding who votes and why, they can tailor their disinformation campaigns to target specific groups. The more they know about the voters, the more effective their influence operations can be. What does this mean for the future? As AI technology continues to advance, so too will the sophistication of these tactics. And as AI becomes more accessible, the threats won't just come from state actors. Non-state actors, hacktivists, even individuals, could potentially utilize AI to manipulate public sentiment. This isn't just a technological issue, it's a societal one. As we continue to integrate AI into our daily lives, we must also be vigilant about its potential misuse. We must ensure that our democratic processes are robust enough to withstand these new challenges. The responsibility lies not just with tech companies and government agencies but with all of us. We need to be aware, critical, and proactive in safeguarding our information landscape. As we stand on the brink of the AI era, the battlefield isn't just digital, it's ideological. And the stakes? They're higher than ever.